There are two structures in your brain I want to bring attention to. There is a masculine element and there is a natural counterpart in the feminine. The masculine sits above the feminine part in the brain. It's called your prefrontal cortex. And the functions that are associated with the prefrontal cortex are rational thinking. They are computational skills, cognitive skills. And most importantly, executive function and decision making. The feminine part of the brain is called your limbic system. The feminine part of your brain sits deeper. It sits underneath the prefrontal cortex. So you've got the masculine sitting on top and the limbic deeper. Now, the limbic system, its responsibilities are more emotional, more relational, more reactive, more impulsive. It is typically associated with survival. It's actually very, very important part of your brain. Instinct, lizard, that's the way you need to be interpreting the limbic system part of the brain. Now there's two points I wanna address in this video. The first is the strength of your limbic system is what might be ruining your life. The second part of this video is the weakness of your prefrontal cortex is what may be ruining your life. So let me explain. First and foremost, you need to actualize and realize that the way you live your life or the typical Western man and woman who lives their life typically strengthens the neuroconnectivity in your limbic system. What do I mean by that? I mean, when you're scrolling, we spend a lot of our times on our screen. You know that, you don't need me to tell you that, right? Screen time is going up and up and up. What's happening? Your attention is moving from left to right, left to right, left to right, or up to down, up to down, up to down, I should say, that's the scroll. Content is predicated on your reactivity, meaning it targets the emotional centers of your mind, targets the limbic system. If you're spending four, five, six hours a day strengthening your limbic system's response, the outcome that you will get is that you will be more emotional and you will be more reactive. If you don't strengthen the prefrontal cortex, the masculine part of the mind, which I'll reiterate, its responsibilities are solely concerned with executive decision-making and control, fundamentally. If you're not exercising that aspect of your neurochemistry, the gray matter in those structures diminishes. It's like any muscle. If you wanna get stronger at pull-ups in the gym, doing bench press is gonna be of no resource to you. It's the antithesis of that movement. So we have to recognize here fundamentally what outcomes we want and are we using the systems that allow us to get that outcome? I mentioned this before in the previous video. You should organize your entire day around the system you're employing and the outcome that you are desiring. The outcome is simple enough. And specifically the whole point of this is in relation to emotional control addictive patterns, men who simply can't focus, who are addicted to weed, drugs, all the you know paraphernalia out there that is keeping men stuck in the feminine aspect of living, reactivity, emotional behavior. There is a lacking in this area of strength and density of the gray matter 
in the prefrontal cortex. So what do we do? We have to change the system that we are using. One such system that is very effective, I mentioned a couple videos ago, is grayscaling your devices. When you grayscale your device, you remove all color stimuli from it. Color stimuli, colors in general, are emotive. Colors move you emotionally. There's no logic to colors. I'm sure somebody can come up with an argument of the logical colors, right? But they're emotive. What does red make you think about? Romance, anger. What does yellow think you, make you think about? Oh, sun, ooh, joy, and playfulness. What does green make you think about? Oh, serenity, peace, nature, trees. It's limbic. It's all limbic. It's all feminine. Grail scale your device and you begin to view your devices from the perspective of the prefrontal cortex. Is What is the rationalization for me being on this website? When you take, when you reduce the activation of the limbic system, you upregulate the activation of the prefrontal cortex, the control, the executive decision making about what you're doing. And if you continue in this vein for a long period of time, this is a simple step I'm asking you to do, by the way, guys. I'm not asking you to do it. I'm inviting you to consider doing it. It's a better way of putting it. Because you have jurisdiction over your life. Just ask yourself the question. Are you getting the outcomes that you want? If you're getting the outcomes you want, click off this video now. Go, go back to whatever you're doing. But if you're frustrated, if you're addicted, if you're miserable, if you keep smashing your head against the wall thinking, I just can't fucking concentrate. Can't do it. Always on my phone. Always smoking weed. Always looking for that dirty video. What the fuck's wrong with me? Imbalance and strength between your limbic system, between the feminine mind and the masculine mind, the prefrontal cortex. Treat it like any muscle. And let me reiterate, this isn't, this isn't a nebulous idea. This isn't ineffable. It has, it physically changes the structures in the brain. You take a meditator, an avid meditator, you scan their brain. Their prefrontal cortex is so thick, so dense, there's so many connections in there that it is impossible, I shouldn't say impossible, but their strength in relation to their emotions, to their limbic system, is just overwhelmingly powerful. Meaning, it's not, it's not the case that they don't experience you know, the emotions of the limbic system, is that their prefrontal cortex is so dense, is so powerful, has so many neural connections, that, it's, that a large part of it stays active even when you're in this emotional response. And they can, they can upregulate to a, a controlled, logical decision instead of an impulsive, irrational decision. Changes in the brain. Something to meditate on. Speak soon.